In this video, we will monitor a host with New Relic Infrastructure Agent. If you haven't used the Infrastructure Agent, the Getting Started will be the first view you will see. You will be forwarded to the Add Your Data screen, where you can choose what type of data you want to add. In this case, let's choose a Windows machine. We choose an account and get the instructions. You copy the commands. And please note you have to run the commands in PowerShell console with administration rights. We paste and run the commands. We're going to fast forward the download process. And once the commands are done running, we will see an indication that the service is running. If we switch to the infrastructure view, we can see the Windows machine reporting. We will add a couple of Linux machines. Note that you have multiple options to add your data. We'll repeat the same process as before. In this case, for an Ubuntu machine, just choose the account, choose an Ubuntu version, and copy the instructions. Just paste the commands and let them run. Let's fast forward the process a little bit. We'll repeat the process for CentOS. In this case, just choose the menu from the top right and add more data. If you scroll down, you can see the list of host operating systems. In this case, we'll just choose CentOS, choose the account, choose the CentOS version, and copy the commands. We'll switch to the CentOS machine, paste the commands and run them. In the interest of time, we'll fast forward the process. We can switch back to the UI and see the machines reporting. Notice the tabs for network, processes, storage, and it does look like one of the machines is actually a Docker host. As some of you may have noticed, the processes tab was empty. To monitor processes, we need to add that configuration to the YAML file. Just edit the file, paste the setting, and restart the agent. You can switch back to the UI and see processes information. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.